There aren't a lot of greatest common factor questions on the ACT, but factoring is a really important topic, so let's take a look at it. Let's say I wanted to find the greatest common factor of 6 and 12. Now, the greatest common factor is the biggest number that will divide evenly into both of these numbers. So, one way to do it is to prime factor. You probably remember this from like middle school. I can break 6 down into 2 times 3, both primes, and I'm done. 12, I could say, well, that's 4 times 3. 4 is not prime. I've got to go one step farther. 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. Now, to find the greatest common factor, I take the least occurrence of each prime factor. So we got some 2s, so, but there's only one here, so I'll take that. There's one 3 on each of these, so I'll take one 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and that's our greatest common factor. Now, probably you could tell that just by looking at it, right? People have more trouble when it comes to variables, though, although it works just the same. So let's say I had something like this. Um, x squared, y cubed, and x, y squared. And I wanted to find the greatest common factor. Well, just for explanation, I'm going to write these out. I'm going to expand them both out. Not going to change anything, but I'm going to write them out with all their x's and all their y's. And that's what I've got. This is the same as this. This is the same as this. Nothing's changed. So using what we just did, I can say, well, I have two unique factors. I got x's and I got y's. I've got two x's here. I got one here. I'll take that one. I've got three y's here, I've got two here, I'll take those two. And my greatest common factor will be x, y squared. Don't be thrown off by the, the exponents. Those don't have to divide evenly. It, you're allowed to do that as long as they're not integers. It's not a big deal. So let's take a look at the ACT question on the bottom of your screen. And it asks what the greatest common factor of 1854 and 90 is. Now, we just talked about prime factorization. Would I use prime factorization or another factorization method to find the answer here? Mm -mm, absolutely not. Instead, what I would do is I would use some common sense and the answer choices. Now, remember the greatest common factor is the biggest number that will divide evenly into all my numbers. So the largest it can ever be is the smallest number, in this case, 18. So I'm going to start there. Now, we have an answer A that's 54, so it's automatically out. And then I would start with 18 and check it. 18 divided by 18, that works. 18 into 54, that goes three times. 18 into 90, that goes five times. So B is correct. If B is not correct, just work your way down in decreasing order. Try 9 next and 3, so on. That's all there is to it. Again, factors are incredibly important. I encourage you to take a look at the video on least common multiples for more.